it's essential for every newborn to have a warm environment, and especially for low birth weight babies, because they cannot maintain their own body heat. In addition, a baby's ability to stay warm can be easily compromised by the temperature of its surroundings. Hypothermia is when a baby's body temperature falls below normal, and it's a significant cause of neonatal illness and death on every continent in every country. A newborn regulates its own body temperature much less efficiently than an adult, and it loses heat more easily. The smaller and more premature the baby, the greater the risk. After birth, a wet newborn begins to lose heat immediately, and unless heat loss is prevented, it will develop hypothermia. Neonatal hypothermia is still a very important cause of neonatal deaths, and often results from healthcare providers' inadequate knowledge. The temperature of a newborn baby is normally between 36.5 and 37.5 degrees centigrade. If a newborn's temperature falls below 36.5 centigrade, it will develop hypothermia. Newborn hypothermia can occur anywhere in the world, in any climate. Healthcare providers should be aware of this and should always take precautions to prevent hypothermia for every newborn. In the very first minutes of life, the newborn can lose heat in four different ways. One, major heat loss can occur due to evaporation of the amniotic fluid on the baby's skin. Two, heat can be lost through conduction too if a naked baby is put onto a cold surface. Three, the newborn can lose heat to cold surfaces even when it is not directly touching them. Four, heat is lost quickly in a draft when body warmth is drawn away from the newborn and it can become cold even in a warm room. A baby with hypothermia is at increased risk of becoming sick and dying. It uses additional oxygen, leading to breathing difficulties. Metabolic disorders cause a rapid worsening of the baby's condition. Increased glucose consumption leads to hypoglycemia and then to convulsions. Hypothermic babies need more oxygen. To help healthcare providers ensure thermal protection of newborns, the World Health Organization recommends a number of linked measures to promote newborn thermal protection. These measures are called the warm chain, and they should be taken at birth and in the first days of life to prevent the baby being too cold or too warm, and to maintain a normal body temperature of 36.5 to 37.5 centigrade. There are 10 interlinked steps that need to be taken at birth and in the first hours and days of life. These evidence-based steps aim to minimize the risk of hypothermia in all newborns using simple, easy-to-follow procedures. Skipping any one of these steps breaks the chain and exposes the newborn to the risk of hypothermia. Preparing the delivery room is an important link in the warm chain. The room should be warm and without any drafts from an open window, door or a fan.
Note that the temperature in the delivery room should not fall below 25 degrees centigrade. The next links in the warm chain are the prompt drying of the newborn with a warm dry towel and skin-to-skin -skin contact with the mother. After the newborn is placed on the mother's chest or belly, it should be dried again with a fresh warm towel, dressed with a cap and socks, and covered with a warm dry sheet and a blanket. Do not cut the cord before doing this. About 30 minutes after birth, take the newborn's temperature, but without interrupting skin-to-skin -skin contact between mother and baby. Be sure to use a thermometer that will measure a low temperature. Weighing and examining the newborn should be postponed until at least two hours after birth. This helps reduce the risk of hypothermia. Early bathing of the newborn results in a rapid drop in temperature and it isn't needed. Breastfeeding is a very important link in the warm chain. It's crucial to start breastfeeding as soon as possible after birth, preferably within the first hour. Normally, a healthy newborn shows clear signs when it is ready to breastfeed. Breast milk provides the baby with the calories it needs, and this helps maintain a normal body temperature. Proper clothing for the baby is the next link in the warm chain. Tight swaddling limits the newborn's movement and should be avoided. It increases heat loss, the risk of breathing problems, and interferes with proper breastfeeding. Preparing for thermal protection of the newborn starts before birth. The mother should be advised in advance to bring a set of baby clothes, including a baby cap, socks, linen, and a blanket to the maternity home. Baby clothes, blankets, and linens should be pre-warmed. This can be done in various ways. It's very important to make sure that the baby does not lose body heat when it's moved, even within the maternity home. The simplest and best way to move a newborn is for the mother to carry it while maintaining skin-to-skin -skin contact. Rooming in facilitates thermal protection of the newborn by its mother, and it also promotes breastfeeding on demand. It's crucial to ensure thermal protection when resuscitating a newborn. Newborn hypothermia reduces the chances of successful resuscitation and affects the baby's prognosis. Any health care providers involved in delivery and newborn care should be trained in how to maintain the warm chain. An unbroken warm chain in every maternity home can prevent unnecessary newborn deaths and complications. Thermal protection must be a priority in newborn care. It's the responsibility of every health care facility to have a policy of thermal protection adapted to local conditions.